You probably know by now that I'm an aspiring entrepreneur. I've been posting religiously on YouTube, Instagram for the past two months, but there's a good chance I'm going to be cutting Instagram. When you start something new, you realize there's so much you need to get done, all the new projects, all the new tasks. I was feeling, like I said, overwhelmed. And I thought, you know, let me just go to sleep, wake up the next day, feel refreshed and see what the problem was. And I did, I woke up the next morning, had to think about it and I, and I think I found my problem. But for you to understand this, let me take you back a few years. Back in 2019 at university, I went through depression. And to me, it was quite severe in, in a sense that I just wanted the world to swallow me up and I didn't really want to wake up the next day. There was nothing driving me forward. And that came from a life of hedonism and just following my desires and having no purpose. And I remember the exact date. It was November the 18th, 2019. And I promised to myself, no matter what happens, I'm never going to go back to feeling that way ever again. But when I go back and I think to myself, Nathan, what did you do to get out of there? There were three things really that helped me. The first was books. The first book I read properly was The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. The second was podcasts. I started listening to inspiring people and their stories, expanding my knowledge of the world. And the third was YouTube. I started watching videos by Mel Robbins, Simon Sinek, talking about how you can shift your mindset and having the importance of purpose and a why. And none of these things really was something I even thought about back then. But that's where the huge changes in my life started to come from. And if I had to put myself back in that shoe, Instagram really wasn't a part of that equation. In fact, Instagram was probably only making things worse. What I needed then was someone to understand the position I was in. I needed honest, true, genuine information which shows both the good and the bad. But on Instagram, it's just the highlight reel. You're seeing people cry one morning, then put on makeup just to show themselves that they're happy. Or you see people with their bodies and they don't talk about the insecurities that they really have. It's like a front you put onto the whole world to show that everything's okay, but it's not. Instagram sort of turned into this place which is used for status signaling. And maybe creators have found a way to overcome that and actually show genuine knowledge and connect with people. But me personally, I don't think I can. Not right now anyway. You see, the way that I take information in, I want to go deep into topics. I want to talk about things, break them down, give my opinion, see how things work, see what didn't work, show the good and the bad, not just the highlight reel. And I was becoming a person that I didn't want to be. And I found myself, instead of reading, listening to podcasts and condensing notes and learning more about my craft, I was spending hours editing my highlights and thumbnails and making everything look pretty. But like, who gives a fuck? It's just something for your eyes to say, oh, that looks cool. But are you actually taking any value from it? You see, I want to give as much value and share my lessons, but in an honest way. If someone comes up to my profile, they'll just see something that looks nice and a short two second clip of me saying something. But does it really give you the... It doesn't convey the depth that I want to get across about the topics that I want to speak about. You see, it took me a lot of time to figure this out. There are certain things that I do in my day that gives me energy and there are certain things that take energy away. Creating, scripting YouTube videos and putting it out there for you to see the honest, true side of me, that gives me energy. Because I'm hoping that there's you out there that might be in a similar situation to me that I was and then you can take a step forward and bring yourself into a better life from that. And I never saw that from Instagram. And I pride myself on having a low screen time and using social media as a tool and not to be used by it. My screen time was coming up to six, seven hours a day, which is completely unacceptable for me. I need to be in control of the platforms I use and not the other way around. Sometimes you just got to follow your heart and this is what my heart says. To put my time and effort into YouTube, to making better videos, making more videos and connecting heart to heart with you and sharing my honest experiences, both the good and the bad. And I like writing. I've told you I'm working on a book and I've been editing it for the past few weeks. So there's a good chance I'll be on Twitter where I can share my thoughts in a way that I actually enjoy. And to be honest, I found with Instagram, I never really took any meaningful action from the content. I'd see something on Instagram with a cool creator and I think, oh, that's cool. And I'd just save it. But then we never really act on it. Whereas with YouTube, I found when I wanted to know something, it was me making the active decision to go and find that information. And the likelihood of me taking that on board and implementing it was so much higher. If I look back on me, YouTube helped me so much. The experts, the inspiring individuals sharing their honest stories is what got me out of my difficult situations 
I'm going to focus on becoming the best YouTuber I can possibly be, the best businessman and entrepreneur in this field, so that I can give as much value and share my lessons with you as I possibly can. My mission is to help and inspire people that have gone through difficult situations and show them there's a better way of life out there. And I know for my 28 subscribers, thank you. It means a lot that you're sat here and watching my shit, even though I've got no name or nothing at the moment. I promise you there's going to be a lot of good things coming. So stick with me and thanks for listening.